Kim found this spring farmhouse sign on Pinterest. She liked it, so we made it, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. We do it every week. Megan knows that. Megan's one of our Patreons over there. Patreon. I might have got those words flipped. <laughs> this week, we're making some spring wall decor. It's got that wooden herringbone pattern in the back, and then we're throwing some felt flowers on there. It's gonna look tight. Step one, we're just gonna gather all of our supplies. We just needed a one by three, some of these quarter inch by one and a half inch little planks, some stiff felt, it's the stiff kind, some stain, some paint. That's really it. Let's get started. Step two, now we're gonna make our frame. It's very framey. <laughs> we're gonna take this uh, one by three down, give it some miter cuts, throw a frame together. After a quick trip to Lowe's, <laughs> we're back. We are one board short, so you need two one by threes. <laughs> two one by threes. <laughs> we're gonna put some pocket holes in the frame and then pocket hole together with some one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. Thing. These boards were super twisted. They really yeah. got that reclaimed wood look. <laughs> <laughs> Step three. Now we're going to attach all these little slats to the back of the frame. We're going to lay them out in a diagonal pattern. Then we're going to draw where they need to be cut and then we're going to cut them off, tack them down with a little half inch brad. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Bam! That's what we got so far. Looks cool. I love it. Looks a lot better on the front than it does the back. Oh, the stickers. Yep, that's what I was just thinking. Darn it. I didn't notice those stickers. Step four! Now we're going to throw a coat of stain on here and then a coat of chalk paint right after that. We're going to use some Kona. Kona. Sounds so tropical. Verathane's Kona. Step 4B. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna paint it white. <laughs> all right, stain's all dry, so I'm just gonna add a coat of, a light coat of white chalk paint over top, and then distress it a little bit. All right, are you gonna help? Yeah. All right, light coat. You show me. Okay. I'm not even gonna give you a very big paintbrush to show you it's a light coat. It's not the size, babe, it's not the size. <laughs> All right, looks good. I mean, it doesn't look good, but it will look good. I'm done, go ahead. <laughs> Looking sloppy. Yes, looks like a bad paint job. Looks like I painted this one. <laughs> but when it dries, we'll do some distressing. Step five, and now we're gonna make our accents. <laughs> Still think, French. I think it gets worse. It only gets worse. 
We're gonna make some flowers. Felt flowers. flowers. So I haven't d tried felt felt flowers before. That was hard to say. <laughs> say that five times fast. <laughs> but for this project, I decided instead of just buying or downloading a bunch of flower cut files, I went to this design space in the Cricut to see what I could find, and I found a whole felt wreath. And I just downloaded all the flowers for the felt wreath, and now I switched up the colors to make them what I wanted for my project, but they're all the same flowers, and now all we have to do is assemble them. I cut them, and now we're going to use the hot glue to do some assembly. I hate the hot glue. <laughs> well, I have a trick for you. Alright. Something that I read that you could try. I haven't tried this before, so I read that you could use glue dots uh -oh. to assemble the flowers. Glue dots are way easier. So I bet you I won't burn myself with the glue dots. Well, the thing with the glue dots, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to handle these either, is that <laughs> when you get them stuck to your finger, they're stuck. Like I'm, what am I, glue illiterate? <laughs> That's it. Garrett can't deal I with glue. I just think it might be tricky to get them off. I don't really know how you're going to get them off. Do you have to like touch no. it? I don't know. I will figure it. it out. If I okay. don't have to use the hot glue, I will figure it out. Okay. <laughs> I will figure it out. Okay. Now this, okay, so I have a set of quilling tools here. I don't know if you can see them. But they're for spinning and wrapping paper. Have you guys ever done that? Anybody I've spun ever done that? and wrapped. <laughs> so have you seen like the twirled paper? It's really twirled. Like origami? Well, no, origami is just folded. This is twirled, but similar. Okay. Anyway, that's what these are for. Well, this one's really wide and will hold the width of this uh, felt. So I thought well, I read that you could put this in here, and then if you use the drill, which is mm -hmm. why I have your drill sitting over there, it'll spin your flower relatively quickly. Oh, run, run. oh all right. Yeah. I, I can do that. So it helps with that. So I thought when we get to that one, we'll, we'll try the quilling tool. I really can't get it out. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So... You want to start with this flower? It seems like an easy one. It's yeah. just simply layering the pieces. These pieces here, you're just going to glue the little tabs together. And then it ends up forming a little square, a little box that you'll layer each layer inside of. Oh, okay. That's easy. And then I'm going to do something very similar to this one. I'm just going to glue the tabs and layer them one on top, top of the other. Alright, so last step will be to spin the rosettes here. They come in these spirals. And I have found that the glue dots work great. I highly recommend the glue dots. Way quicker. Way quicker. Less burning. A lot less burning. You, you still got burnt though. Yeah. <laughs> Step six. Now we're gonna distress our slappy paint job with some uh, low grit sandpaper. I'm using 80. I got 60. It's a little worn out 60, but it's still 60. Perfect. Step seven. Now we're gonna add our flowers and our word. Bloom. <laughs> now I wanted to paint bloom black. I thought it would look tight. I think it might look good, but. but Kim voted for pool. Yeah, bloom, so, uh... spring. So it's gonna be the color of 
our light blue flower, don't you think? Or the See? black flower, right? <laughs> well, I'll paint this if you want to glue those down. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's find out. Looking good. That it? Yeah, it looks yeah. good. If it weren't for my slappy glue work, it would look great. <laughs> um, this thing just scratched my face. I might be bleeding. <laughs> so Leave it all on the table, babe. <laughs> extreme crafting. Oh my goodness. What are you doing over there? Painting. Can I help you? No, it's my job. Oh man. It's my cross to bear. Kind of making a mess. And what is up? Uh, what is happening? Seriously. Right. And your paint looks a little chunky. What's it? Bloom. It's all dry. Minimal mess. Now we're gonna glue it on using some Gorilla Glue. I love this stuff. I put it on everything. <laughs> but we're also gonna use some hot glue to hold it in place uh, until the Gorilla Glue sets up. That's perfect for spring. All right, so what'd you guys think? This is our first time using felt flowers <laughs> and our first time trying to make a pattern out of wood. It wasn't that bad, it was pretty easy to do. Yeah, it's like your own, like, uh, it's like a shutter, recreated shutter, like a window shutter, and we add some little flowers to it. So the, it's so farmhouse. The back's not pretty, but you could always trim it up a little better. I was fed up halfway through. Yeah, it was a little bit frustrated <laughs> halfway through that. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, we do this every week, so you should totally hit that subscribe button and tick that bell to be notified every Friday. That's when we do it, Fridays. And until then, you can watch this video. Or, or this video. Or Kim's video. <laughs> My video will probably have me in it. <laughs> okay. Good chance. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week.